It pays Henry Castle won the last four fights. He isn't scared of getting involved in a wild punch-up. He's a former amateur champion. Taking on Graham Earl, former British and Commonwealth lightweight champ, who's involved in a thrilling fight with Amir Khan, but he's running out of time. We can join this one from the start. We've been looking forward to this uh, crossroads matchup since it was announced. Two lightweights here, rarely in a dull one. Henry Castle, who's improving, but in a real test against the former British and Commonwealth champion, Graham Earl who many believe is on the slide, and he's in trouble here in the opening minute. Down he goes. He was blown away by Amir Khan. In 72 seconds, Graham Earl has the punch resistance, and the leg's gone. Castle on top right away. It was a good punch that put a ball on there, Adam. I think he was just standing his ground, taking too many chances. But uh, his eyes have that kind of shock look about them, so I think he was badly shaken by that. But we've seen his powers of recovery in the past. Wonder does he stop his head was hot again. Good work from Castle, who's had a 10-week training camp and said he's the sharpest he's ever been. A Graham Earl in desperate trouble. In the ring when he had some of his best British title wins. And these punches, oh, it's gone, he stopped it, and it is. It's a massive win for Henry Castle. And surely the end of a long, promising and successful career for Graham Earl. Castle got the timing spot on. He certainly did. Uh, Castle needs to, to jump the queue a little bit and a victory over Graham Earl, although Earl has lost his last couple, would be a great win on his slate and he's managed it in fine style. And he's done it quicker than Amir Khan did last year. 70 seconds. Khan took 72. Graham Earl stopped for the third time in a row and he gives Henry Castle a big hug. Is Castle on the verge of fighting for British title honours? A one round blowout. Well, Earl, with his experience, you have to wonder at the blatant mistakes he made with his defence. They're solid shots. You can see as it goes over, he has a kind of confused look on his face. So those punches really did stun him. The left hook was the better of the three punches that landed. And he didn't really have a chance to recover from that. With his experience, maybe he should have backed off, he should have smothered, he should have covered up. But his fighting spirit, as what he's shown in the past, made him fight back again. See, this is a time when he should be using experience, covering up, just weathering the storm, but still offering too much target. And these are solid punches from Castle. He knew the end was a couple of decent punches away. The referee had no option but to step in. Earl was actually looking at the floor while some of those punches were landing. So in bad shape, look at the way he sacked from that one. Graham Earl asked Frank Maloney for this match, but really, too late on in his career, 11th knockout win for Henry Castle and surely the sweetest one yet.